Finally. Stepping it up. Oh. 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 No. Caused all the damage. Me as a passenger. Is this yours? One day. I don't like to say I'm jealous. Love that color. Respect all these guys. Yes. Bound to know this car by now. Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to Castle Coombe. Yeah, now we were going to do an intro when we first got here this morning. However, yes. it was very, very mental here this morning. So as always, it's always crazy setting up, getting ready for the track and whatever. But we did have a good walk around, so uh, enjoy the footage enjoy anyway. It out. Just when you thought the Frank and Saab could not get any crazier. <laughs> he keeps stepping it up every time. Just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier, fair play, you've done it again. <laughs> Give a man a hammer and everything's a nail. Give a man a welder and anything's whatever. I like it! <laughs> Summer action day was crazy as usual. So much so that we forgot to check the audio in this clip, but I did want to include as there are some awesome cars. Starting off with this incredible Escort Cosworth that I actually raced at an event many years ago when I owned my Celica. And when I say raced, I mean he absolutely annihilated me. I'm sure he said it's pushing over 600 brake horsepower. And Kenny kindly reminded me that I tell him every time we see this car. I will own a lowrider one day, so this car really caught my attention, and it's only when you get up close and see the attention to detail that you can really appreciate these things. And of course, this beautiful example of a C3 Corvette. I still adore the shape on these things, and especially seeing one in this country is still something special. As you all know, I try to limit the amount of Mark 1 MX-5 content I put in these videos because otherwise Kenny shouts at me, but I love it when I see one this clean. And in this colour, it really, really popped. And yes, mine is missing the turbo. A Del Sol is another car that I've always wanted and vow to own one day. So Luke's awesomely pink example of one, oh, mind other way too, awesomely pink example is making me want one even more. I then saw this Lamborghini Huracan from afar. Now I always respect when people not only buy supercars, but modify them. That takes balls. So the first thing that caught my eye was the colour, and then the forged carbon everywhere. But it was only when me and Kenny walked away that we realised that it was actually twin turboed, and the turbos were on display from the rear, so I'm gutted we didn't get a shot of that. Next up, we had to go and see Adam and Emily at TGR Motorsport. If you guys haven't already, go and check out their website and give them a follow on Instagram. Although Adam does claim to be a bit camera shy. The quality of parts that TGR offer really is next level, as I'm trying to demonstrate here. Especially their forged carbon lineup. The lack of weight in these things is unreal, as you'll see. Try our best demonstrated by Kenny. You'd have to feel this to believe it. So next time you're at the show, guys, go and take a look at these because they really are something else. As well as Forged Carbon, their titanium game is also strong. So as I said, guys, go and check them out. And this is why we can't take Kenny anywhere near TGR because uh, more things to go for the reveal. Now, we won't tell you what he's bought, but he has bought something very cool with the support of this lovely young man who's a bit camera shy, but uh, we love you, man. A little sneak peek, look at that. Even They've even got the bags going on as well. There we go. See? Yeah. <laughs> See, he's not camera shy. No, he's like he's a, a natural. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know if it's just because the sun's up, but the, the quality of cars in Coombe just seems to be getting better and better. And obviously this, oh, things like this you just cannot ignore. What do you think nice. of these? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, you can't fault them. Nah. Is that another one that people seem to forget? The S15 Varietta, I believe it's pronounced. Very rare, no, no, they are very rare in this country. You never see them. I'm glad you right remember that. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. I think that's right. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. I've seen this a few times and I absolutely love it. Oh. Fitment on point as well, fair play. <gasps> wow. Oh. If you want a car that stands out. Really does, doesn't it? Every Evo, I'm just gonna go, ha ha, you could have had one of them. <laughs> well, you did have one of them, I sorry. I one of them, sorry. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. <laughs> In fairness, you probably had most of the cars here. <laughs> well, the M3 was always missing. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Oh no, what's happened there? Oh, yeah, ouch. Oh, <laughs> right, man. You, uh, did you miss that? Because I certainly did. Mm. <laughs> I just I realized really what's did, yeah. under there. 
Is this yours? Is it? Mine. That's incredible. This is why we love doing what we do. Uh, me, the Chatterbox, I just love talking to people. We've just found out that was a K20s. Unfortunately, had a bit of a mishap. But uh, as you can see there, he's got the side rider ready to turbo. Love 306s as they are, but that is das. Wow, what a car. More importantly, there's the thing that caused all the damage. Wow, fair play. This thing was clearly designed for track. That's incredible. Finally, we get to see the chaser. I seen it this morning. So yeah? Yeah, yeah, I was having a chat with him this morning. <laughs> well, the last time we saw um, the boys, Viking viewers, I'm sure most of you know, Saw them at Caffeine and Machine and they had the Evo, which is fantastic. But this, this is me. I've absolutely adore the Chase, especially the JZX 100s. So I did say to Jordan this morning, yeah, I bet the Evo's getting a bit neglected now. Yeah, oh, I guarantee said, yeah, it. Yeah, it really is like. No, I don't like to say I'm jealous, but I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> I, I, I love this thing, man. You've made such a good choice. As I say, going from the cars you used to go uh, with, which are good cars, you've made the right choice, man. S the story behind this, though, we went to go and get a four-door R34. Did he and really? this was there, yes. Wow, okay. Yeah, he was telling me this morning, and yeah. you know, he's seen this. It wasn't for sale. Right. And yeah, he sorted it out basically. I don't want to go into it, just he doesn't want to tell <laughs> sure we'll catch, Yeah, I'm sure yeah, we'll catch yeah, it with him anyway. Cool story behind it as well. So yeah, hell of a choice for Yeah, me. either way, yeah. It's accelerated so proof. So clean, so clean. <laughs> so as you'll probably know, we are a bit biased towards Evos, but this, this really stood out to me. That's when cool. we were far away, I was like, oh, black Evo. And it's like, oh. Carbon and front yes, end. That is carbon, an entire carbon front end. That is They're just cool, cool, isn't it? That's, yeah, they are yeah, just really cool. Are. Everyone loves it. Well. I don't know what it is. They just really, really pop. Absolutely. They really do. Could not agree more. And the fact that he's got <laughs> seats. And a wing. That's just, everything works, man. <laughs> if anyone really knows uh, who owns this car, I don't know if there's an Instagram. I think there is actually, because yes, uh, we'll I just, just want to say fair play. This That is that is a hell of an Evo. That's cool. And you know Evos. Yeah, I really like that. Kenny's just pointed out again from afar. Oh my God, look at that colour. Um, can you just point out that this is the exact opposite of mine? Bright red exterior, black interior. Yes. I remember when Dan used to have on this colour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer, know you, you prefer, prefer the red, the red one, one. Yeah, yeah that's why I said red. I wasn't laughing at him because he, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, we just, yeah, just laughing at the fact that everyone seems to love the grey one, and I know you prefer the red one, but now I completely see Seeing the red in a flesh. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Give us a blip. Obviously, trying to get our uh, quick walk around video where we had to stop to see Rob and his C2. This is honestly probably my favorite C2 I've ever come across. And it's one of those. Noisy buggers. It's one of those you see it in photos, it's amazing, but you see it in person and it's all the little details then. And he actually rallies this thing, which is just blows me away because it's so clean. That is a lovely piece of kit, and he's literally. Only just got it back from mapping now. What was it you said very quickly? You said it's got the cams. It's got a new one PS3 uh, password cams. Okay? Password, the yep. 106 adjustable pulleys on the side. Wow. Four of them manifold. Yep. And the stainless system. But it's still got a set in the box. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but it still sounds amazing. Yeah. And like I said, guys, I can't stress enough. He knows how to drive this thing. So uh, we ask him nicely, we're just going to keep rubbing it here. We're hoping to get a full feature on it, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But thank you very much for taking the time, man. <laughs> nice one. Look at that. Race car at its finest. Even more his spare wheels and that as well, fair play. Oh, I love this thing. <laughs> Every time we come to Coombe, Kenny points this out, which always makes me laugh, because as you guys know, he's not the biggest fan of 350s. But honestly, every time, it's like, there's that 350. I think this is the one 350s Eddie likes. So again, I have dropped her a message to see if we could feature it, but she hasn't got back to me. So. Ah, okay. You know, one thing I really love at the moment is when people do uh, the toy cars, because some of them are just amazing. Oh, yeah, and know, there's another one. I was looking over it. <laughs> I didn't even see it, <laughs> honestly. Really like, I imagine they actually take a lot of effort. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Awesome, That's though, awesome, right? I know. <laughs> I'm going to do this very quickly so Kenny can't shout with me. Love that colour. Love that colour because this is exactly the same as mine. Oh, and another one. I'm in heaven. Saw that on the way down. That thing is cool as hell. Now, Kenny's no stranger to TTRS. I'm assuming this is an RS. It is. It's some. Um, love a livery. What are you going to say? It's <laughs> Sorry, uh, Kez. My, uh, big Kez. He, remember? Oh my God. It is the same one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I thought it was the same wheels, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it is. Fair play, man. This looks. That is amazing. It's cool, I, that looks, it? Yeah. Completely different. Man, it just changes the car. I completely. honestly, yeah, honestly thought it was a different car. No. 
we approve. These are cars I've never really given too much attention to. I, but I love it when we find a good example of unusual cars. You don't see many of these modded, and not properly because carbon bonnet. I mean, oh, the more you look, the more this carbon. <laughs> Sorry for shoving a camera on your car, but yeah, really rate that. That's cool. Just a quick shot. You think, oh yeah, this is just a normal Fiesta, but the thing that makes this absolutely amazing. <laughs> yes, my man. <laughs> so I was driving in uh, first thing. <laughs> I literally hit the brakes when I saw this thing. They're still special. I know you approve of these. I love them. Yep. I and I know you will have one in your car. Oh, talk about future garage. I will own another one of them when they're not like three hundred thousand uh, well, pounds. Accelerate garage. Right? <laughs> accelerate garage is going to look like this soon. And then Kenny can have the three fifty Z as well. Wacky colours seem to be the in thing. I mean, these days it is hard to stand out, but that again, I think you'd have to see it in person. There is fleck and everything in there. That's. It's awesome. That's mad than really it Especially with the Senna. Yes. Oh, just not as hard as well. Oh, I love a DC2. <gasps> I mean, what else you say? It's an S13. We know Kenny's a fan of them because he's owned God knows how many. Two. Only two. I've always said, and I keep saying it, I will own another one of these. One of my. F I've never had a VTS. I was just going to say, again. a proper one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was about to comment. Do you know what? Yeah. But Kenny has had a VTS and he absolutely yeah. loved it. Yeah, great even, fun. They're just. Even yeah, all the VTRs good. I've had. Uh, took mine on track, it was phenomenal, and I dailyed mine, even with the buckets of cage and everything. I just, I absolutely love them. They're cool. Now, I'm pretty sure this is one I saw coming in. I mean, look at that already, just a crowd of people. I'm so glad that cars like this are still getting the attention, because most of the shows we go to lately, yeah. these types of things, like you said, you nailed it, like the younger generation. They don't understand just, what it is. They don't know what they are, so respect to all these guys for knowing what this is and how special it is, because it's such a good example of one. Oh, amazing. All the stickers up a window as well. Hmm? All the stickers up a windscreen. All the old tax discs. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. So this is always an interesting section. But <laughs> by interesting, I mean just chill. That'd be me as a passenger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Ooh, Jay, you got to step the game up. So I think we spotted this at one of the other shows we went to, but uh, one of the casualties of drifting, I just want to show this. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's, that's, that's the downside full send. of drifting, that's isn't full it? Send. <laughs> Going back to the topic of 350Z, saying how it doesn't matter how you modify them, you can do whatever you want to them, and this is a prime example of that. This thing stood out on my lord. So I am limited, very quick before he leaves, I am limited the MX5 car. I just want to say I've never seen that bumper on an MX5. Sorry, man, I got it. I got an MX5 as well. What, what front bumper is that? I've never seen that. Um, it's made by a guy in Greece. Okay. So on Facebook, there's a group called Hardcore Miata. Right. Um, the owner of it is called Panos. Right. And he makes custom fiberglass stuff, so he makes the oh. fastbacks and stuff. Clear RS rear diffuser, I love that. That is awesome. Yeah, and very quick, you said it was MR2 vents on MR2 the bonnet. Yeah. I need it. Mine's a track one. I need um, yeah, vents on my bonnet. That's a really good, I really like that. I did notice, if you don't mind, let me just. Uh, that interior. I'm going to the camera in your face already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just say the interior on that is cool as hell as well. We love JDM cars. I've always had a soft spot for the Euro R. And, oh, look. Oh, this is so cool. I think it's just going past the bright red rear tool. Wow, that's, yeah. I just realized the audio is going to be a bit different. But as Kenny just said, I walked straight past, uh, past, past <laughs> a 911 to see that. And, oh, this, uh, this looks a bit familiar. Let's have a quick look at this. I didn't even notice he's back right here. If you guys haven't seen the feature video we did on this, go and check it out. Because this, and I will quote, this is probably my most, you know, my favorite car that we, or most fun car that we featured. This thing is an absolute animal. And incredibly clean, fair play ads, it's amazing. You guys are bound to know this car by now, but every time we see it, I want to give him a shout out because I love the fact that he built this car to an incredible standard and he drives it and he knows how to throw it around on track. So uh, as always, Dan, props. And very quickly, you guys will probably recognize this one. This is Kyle's freshly bagged 8.3 and funny story with them coming here. They uh, didn't know what stand to go on, so they just made their own, but they didn't know what to call it. So they named it. I don't know car club. As per usual, guys, you join us on Team PH's stand. I think they've actually taken the flags down. They've usually got the flags up. We'll have a quick walk around now of just the cars that we know. Boosted Civic, love that. 
Obviously, we've got Jay's E36. I mean, see, if I could, I would spend hours talking about these cars. I just want to give a quick uh, shout out to everyone on Team PH's stand, because as we've said before, we love Team PH. Yes, we do. <laughs> so, I mean, just things like, I mean, you've got the stage of the, this thing is absolutely crazy. You see, 350Zs are just come in all shapes and sizes. You can mod them however you want, and that is probably one of my favorites. You've got the uh, cruise mobile that Kenny came down in. Probably the best car here. Yeah, obviously. Maybe a bit biased, but she's looking good and she did really well on track. If you haven't seen the video, I don't know what order they're going in, but go back and watch it because uh, <laughs> I may have had a bit of an upsee on track. So you don't want to miss that one. Let's have another look around. I don't want to shove a camera in people's faces, but they've always got such a good stand. And once again, much like Coombe themselves, there's such a variety. Didn't realize this was a seven. Loving that. So we've got Boosted Civic, the RS3, keep an eye out for this one. This one I'm very curious about because I will be honest, I'm not a huge fan. But luckily we are doing a full feature, so maybe I can have my mind changed. Can't go wrong with an R35. UJ, the main man, it's R35 there. Like I said, they honestly, Team PH are just one of those clubs. All of the guys and girls here. Hey, hey, there we go, good timing. See, I was just about to say Team PH, the club members are all awesome. And you always get a welcome like that. That is why we go with Team PH every time. Give us an accelerate! Oh, yeah. Yay! That's why we love them. <laughs> so that was Castle Coombe, more specifically Summer Action Day. Yes. Always an amazing day. It is, and what a day for it. Yeah. Wow, look at my head. It's <laughs> Glowing. glowing. <laughs> Obviously a crazy day, as I've probably said. We've done a couple of videos now, so stay tuned. Don't know what order they're going to go out in. We've had a few more of you guys coming up to us and saying hello, introducing yourself, met more oh, people that we don't know, subscribers. Fantastic. It's a mind-blowing feeling, so we love it. If you ever yes. see us, by all means, just come up and say hello. Definitely. We've even had a few clips from features we got coming up. So, so buzzing, yes. man. Yeah, we've got some nice motors coming, so stay tuned. Definitely. So I think we will call it a day for there because we're both knackered. Yeah. But as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Peace.